I talk about the mothers them, and I had to show mothers the respect, and I had to let them know what going on in public. You know, tonight is Mother's Night. Tonight I come to do some preaching about, about the book of Esther, about mothers. You know, that God's words, he, he don't apologize. God, God, the, the words from the Bible, the Bhagavad Gita, or the Quran, or, or the, you call it the holy words, God, God don't throw punches. Right? He don't throw punches public. He, he don't apologize the way he will be saved. He doesn't mean what he's saying. If God says something now, that will remain for a lifetime. That is going on, the law is going to change up the rule and renew and, and set the law and bring back a next law and write back a next law. When coming to God, it do all them things public. And tonight, I come to teach the mothers and them the power of the heart, you Big up to a young fella named Joshua. I forget his name, I will say it just now. That little young fella, meet me in South and give me $200 to the program. Joshua, let me tell you something, brother. You come with a little blue Sylvie. I ask you where you're walking. You say, boy, you're so walking at Forklift and no walk. But you decide to give the program $200. A young fella like Joshua. Hey, amen, boy. Because when me and Nikita Paula went up there, she turned around and she said, brother, I went and checked my father at the same time. The man come and he said, look at 200 He wanted to know what, how, how to send the money. But I have a cash up in the public. Now, Trinidad and Tobago, yes, I'm going to preach tonight. Before I come into the preaching to the ladies, I want to let us spread the video. I have three or four songs to play for the mothers and digging into, digging into, into, into some things here now. Now, public, I want to let you know that the man they call Sundar Popo, right? Do you respect Sundar? Sundar Popo, your mother's love. Uncle Sundar, the originator and mother's love, we have to give respect to them tonight. So let me give them a little song. Happy Mother's Day! The original Calypso! Let me say boss by Calypsonian! Always boss by! Always boss Calypsonian by! They know! A mother's love we cannot forget. From things we do, we bound to regret. Uh -huh. A mother's uh -huh. love we cannot Amen, boy. forget. From things we do, we yeah, have public. regret You can have money in a quantity And have a lot of friends in society You can have diamond movies and gold And mother love is the master key of this world Right? Public! Spread it! Like the collect so public Like the original song come out before Before the man who calls Thunder Popo So I need to give this Calypsonian a bell. Originality. Children, your mother, you must consider. Right? Try and be moderate. Let's give everybody a blind tonight. You must be loved. Let's come into the, the, the singing industry. And your days will be prosperous. Eh, uh eh. -huh. Okay, for any backshot or insolence. Come on, Charlie. You don't need love all the mother and mother's day, boy. And push it with you for mother's day, boy. That's on creation. But it's every day is Mother's Day, boy. This song I sing is an everyday song public. That is one. No, no, wait there. That is one public. The easy man they call Sundar. Big up the BLG Sundar. A, a little play. Bigger than my block on YouTube for playing that song because they buy that song. Right? Sundar Bobo. Your mother's love should never forget. Right? So now is a boss to remix it. Take the Calypso song and you remix it and put a little chat in it, Uncle Sundar, Daddy Sundar for both. Right? But now, I want to let the public know the truth. Every child, Nikita Paula, I know where you're going for your mother. Like. I was there when your mother come up for Mother's Day, girl. And she enjoy Mother's Day. Like the prayers of God, girl. Like the prayers of God. I was in the hospital, girl. And I was crying up my heart. And telling the public that we do it all this on Mother's Day and you didn't even show your mother was coming out. Right? No public, 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 public. I want to let you all know tonight now before I go into the topic and before I go into the story. I had a Mother's Day song that Waka Man wrote. Now wait, wait, public, wait. Let me go in a little more underneath into the description. Right? I want to tell my viewers them. That this song they call Maha, the Maha family, tribute to the Maha family, artists and the beam, Rishi, Ram, Arati, Butkun and Sali, they never do me nothing. So Kyle Elvis, Wakaman, 
Fridge. What your names? Produced by Rishi Mahatu. Written by who? Wakaman. Not Soka Elvis. And not Rishi Mahatu, brothers. I am very sorry if I'm talking the truth, brothers, but I'm a love to all you. But this song was written by Wakaman. And I, was, and, 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 and I didn't get a pity up at Wakaman. I didn't get no, I didn't get no blight. I didn't get no pity. I didn't get nothing public. I didn't get nothing. I didn't get no help. I didn't get no support from the rest of artists. Them. They treat me like a dog, people. No way I want to show this song I write. Every words in the song. Mama Oya, I spend all the money to record it by Rishimatu. I owe Rishimatu a little money. But Rishimatu know that conco, that, that, that level out they know. Right? I don't want the gods of the AV. You know? That way Rishimatu, them go talk up and take you know? Because them know what time it is. You know? That is one. So public, when the gods MC I did this song, and I was robbed the opportunity, no pity on the Facebook, no way I come and get big up. When I went by Anel Beam to release the song, Anel Beam said, with his dog doing the Rishi Mahatu, say he, he write the song, Anel Beam want to shake my hand after public. Right? But I wrote the song, and then boom come in the ending up here, when I get the rub of the opportunity, boom come with a song and give me the idea, free turn around and be good. How great God is by, only listen to this song, I come and write by, listen to it, listen, every word.
that feel the birth of a child twice when Jesus Christ born in the world and when he died and born back again from the land of the Bible quote. Eh? That is a certain Bible quote. Eh? Now I come again and I'm going down. Mary is the only woman that feel the birth of at one child twice. Right? I the power of mother boy. Next thing again. The Shiva Lingam. It is represent Radhi Ramdin. Bless and good night to you, bro. The Shiva Lingam. It is also represent as a womb. Which is the outer, the inner, and the inner, inner. Which is even the vagina. Which is life. Next thing again now. I call in on all mothers to stand up for the writing in this country. And I'm going to have a preach the writing and why the mothers them should be signed up for the writing. Why all you the society for? I come in deep into it. Mothers, I come to talk to all you. All you help me stand up here. God word don't apologize and God words don't throw punches. Right? So everyone, everyone who who come out here and do something, they could say what they want, all of them do bad and good. So if you're going to pray to God, and you say you pray to Krishna, and you pray to Lord Shiva, and you pray to Hanuman because you have strength, and then you pray to Hanuman, you pray to Jesus Christ because he's more powerful, and now I go with my mother Mary, she's more powerful, the next one I say I go with my Ogun Baba, Trinidad and Tobago, there is this stupidness going on. You could pray to anything you want, and all of them is the same power. All of them gods consist of the same energy, same vibe, same all how they want to put it. Back to our next point now. Now turn on and today. Anybody, I'm going now quick, quick, quick with the preaching. Eh? Anybody could know about the book of Esther. Now we're going to have a little one or two little obscenity. That, that the power of the book of Esther of a virtuous woman. My mother named Esther. And I know the book of Esther with the king. Where, where he was only burning and, 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 and drinking rum and only last going on in that place. And he only killing people and things. And he was going to kill out all the Jews and things. And Esther is the woman that went there. A virtuous woman. That the power of her pussy. That she went and changed the king. Because she who saved. If, if the Bible really caught how the Bible caught in it, whatever it is. Esther, which is a woman, saved the whole of Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, it has seven reversing Shiva Lingam, and it has seven, you know, the upside down Shiva Lingam. Well, I'm doing a different study in that, and I've gone in the world with that, with, with, the, with the Shiva Lingam. They go up in the Guti Mana Temple, and the biggest temple of the world, the Guti Mana Temple, up, up they have the seven reversing Shiva Lingam. I wanted to book a ticket to go up there, right? Ravi Ramdin, that's the next deep thing because the Shiva Lingam is supposed to be in water. The gods don't show me that. As they drop where they want, it must be flowing up one time inside the water and running in Ganga Mata. Well, well, the heights and that, that different thing. It's time our government send the Venezuelan back. Correct is right, sister. Now, the book of Esther, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why God stays silent in the book of Esther, because God don't like drinking and smoking and bullying and, and sex and things. So God was silent in the book of Esther, but he remained in the, in the background and worked silently. So public, when you're feeling that God don't be working silently, God works silently in even evil activities, even activities where her sex, her rum drinking, her drugs going on, her all kind of thing going on, God still work behind the scenes, Trinidad and Tobago and the world. No matter what the situation is, it has God in it. Come in again now. Good woman. Good woman, tame. Tame a lusty man. Any meaning of Esther. Good woman. A lusty man will bull all the women in the world. One woman tame him. Big up Esther. Big up to all the ladies like Esther, boy. Big up all the women and them out there who like Esther that can tame a beast and save the whole of Jesus Christ. Think what showing you know, Esther saved Jesus Christ, you know? Otherwise, all the Jews would have done, you know? Yeah, Venezuela. Now, coming down again to the, to the mother. Motherhood. Motherhood. It was God's first idea. It's God who come and plan and talk about motherhood. Because God wanted to be our father. But he understand the roles of parents. He understand the role of a mother. He understand the role of a father. He understand the depth of a mother too. Alright? That's why he did what he did. 
The first woman was assigned to be the motherhood of the whole nation by God in the beginning. As the Bible says, the first state of a woman, of being a mother or being a woman, right? It two qualities. Qualities of spirit. The spirit of a mother. The state of even being a woman. Right? Mother, girl, teen, woman, all of them think different. When coming to a mother, a mother think different than a girl. When coming to a mother, a mother think different than a teen. When coming to a mother, a mother think different than a woman. So the word culture, when I went and I understand the word culture, it means the imp it improvement of the mind. Im improvement of manners. Development of special training and care. That is the meaning of the word culture. When I said wrong, I understand the depth into the word culture, right? So I realize and come into the point public. What I mean to say is that mothers is someone who exercise protective care over someone who 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 young or, 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 or need them. Now I come into the deeper. Eh? You see, someone who exercise authority over you. That is a mother. That is motherhood, right? So, so God always give a mother. The special of a mother and the power of a mother is through she, life will always continue. It will always have life through a mother. To, to, because she's an incubator. She brings forth seeds. Right? And, and the power, the beauty. God know he need a woman. God know he needed a female. God know he need a motherhood. And I come in deeper into the, into the what mothers, what other mothers need to do all day. Now, when you're in your mother belly, right? You see the things your mother eat and drink? And the things she do? Like if your mother read a book or she listen a song while you're in the belly or the father rub the belly and sing a song for you or, 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 or do something like my mother used to rub she put on the bed. When I born big man today for I to sleep, I had to rub my foot. It come like this from and today. The quality of a soil, it determines the quality of the plant. Of the plant. Good night, Miss Kamala. The quality of the soil, it determines the quality of the plant. So, when coming to the power of a mother, what a mother input in your body, it, they are going to affect the baby. Now, the reason why I say that for, the biggest man was once a baby. You know? Remember Bob Mali said, all the biggest man, you was once a baby. You, know? you was once coming to this world, and when you come into this world, nobody for the mind, you don't get a manual. You know? When a baby born, he don't get, the baby don't get a manual. You know? it, it all depends on the mother. It all depends on the culture. It all depends on what the mother going to do in the home. That make a house a home. And say that what going down the road, in that house down the road, that is what going on down there. If they want to drink, smoke and cuss the father and do what they want, that going on down here in this house, this is my house. And child, I don't want you to be going and you is not a bola man. You, I don't want this, and I don't want that. And you set rules as a mother. The father let set the standard. So the mother is responsible at the culture. That's why God say motherhood. Motherhood is very important, boy. Motherhood, motherhood is the most important thing, boy. I lay in all and the whole world know that. That's why the world day, mothers always stand up and, and get together, boy. Stand up, stand up, mothers. You see? And I turn around and I say, the quality of a soil determines the quality of the plant. So in the same way does a mother affect her child. So big up to the good mothers and them who invest, who sacrifice, who, who leave out themselves, who do what it is to take through, a, through divorce, through abandon, through husband cutting the ass, through, through traumas, abuse, neglection. All you still carry all your load, mothers. I ring this bell for you. I ring this bell for the mothers and them who, who don't be seen, who not on Facebook, who wouldn't be out there and getting a war and saying, look, this mother big up you, in a great mother. They, they're silent and they even staying quiet, but they know themselves on Facebook. This goes to all you. All you know all yourself. All you know what to sacrifice, all you know what to do for the children, all you know what you're still doing for the children. 
So all of you who go in silent, I ring this bell for all of you. To let all of you know that all of you some out here waka man is here spiritually. To give all of this blessing. To give all of this strength. To give all the mother in my understanding and a strength for you to stand up and to tell anybody X by Y and so and so. I is uplifting to the mothers and them. So the mothers and them how they, that if all of you feel all of them, I salute all of them mothers by bell for all of them mothers. Salute. Salute to them, them ladies and them. Go through all these problems, through all the divorce, name all the traumas, and they still hold on to the load by, and they still carry through with the children and give them everything. Pick up to all their mothers by. Hands. I think I will sing the song for all you. A round of applause. Miss Kamla, pick up to you, lover. Next thing again now. You see, many mothers, as I always say, the son in the face unknown. They remain silent, hats off to all your boy. God first assignment to the woman is what to take care of the husband. And the next thing God say, if your husband abandoned you, remember I will always be your father. That's what the Bible say. That's what the Bible say. The Bible tell the woman she first assignment is to take care of your husband. And if your husband neglect you, remember I will always be your father. But all us, all us say amen to God by Father, amen, amen. God is so great, even, even to everybody by. Next thing I give now. So all the ladies, God trusts in a woman. Even though woman fall. Now I'm going to read something from Genesis. I the Bible here. I'm going to pull up the Bible and read it already. Right? And in Genesis 3.15 say. Right? The second thing that God gave a woman was a womb. So the first thing that God tell the woman to do is you have to serve your husband or, or take care of your husband. And if your husband neglect her, I will always be your father. The second thing he do, he give the woman a womb. So when he give the woman the womb to the man they go, there is the God and Satan and the Bacchanal coming now. Are you reading it in biblical yet? There is where they come in and say that in Genesis 3.15, I will put empty, um, empty between you and the woman and between your offspring. His and her will crush your head and you will struck his heel. So it all dependent on motherhood. Some people say in like Jesus Christ that born back and come to crush the snake. Some people call it into all kind of things. But tonight I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it into a way that if the whole world is going to an end and it's going to have a man and they're putting the whole world into anything. If all you could remember the movie called End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger with the girl, with the girl she was a virgin and if she only had sex the whole world would end. Right? That's a good feeling you have there. I had that feeling to myself years now too. But nice thing about it is you feel. But make sure you feel something else up inside you. Right? Make sure that, that the, the real things where the, the feeling inside you, why you come and tell me that Flora, or oh, 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 Flo, Flora, the real things where they be feeling inside of you, don't come and tell me where you're feeling, somebody go do me. Don't come to try to tell, tell me about where you're feeling inside of you. Or what will be up inside of you. And I feel like it will be better to hear in the program here. Because we want to hear about where people fell up, talk about me and hear and feel about me. We want to know about you. Right, I go on now. So Trinidad and Tobago, it reached into motherhood. It stuck down to motherhood. It only had a womb. It only bring forth in them children. It's only the environment. When a mother bring up a child, she have to prepare the environment. She have to grow the child. Children and they go when a baby born. The baby do born with a manual boy. They born and have to depend on the mother to grow them up and teach them. Children and they go. So it all is the motherhood. It all gives into motherhood. Motherhood is the, is the greatest boy. The most powerful thing boy. Right? All womb, all good, all womb is good enough. God, but God know we talk about Trinidad and Tobago. So to protect, serve, trust, nurture, survivor of this world, like the mother by, motherhood is 
is, is, is to be honored as a powerful look. Esther, Ruth, Mary, Adam is the father. The woman is known as Eve, the Bible says, right? The definition for Eve is motherhood. Eve means the, the giver of life. I give you the meaning and the facts. The meaning of Eve, the definition of Eve is motherhood. Eve means life giver, motherhood, foundation of life. Eve, the incubator of seed, the incubator of life. God assigned the mother. God assigned a mother for the children to grow up, culture, condition, children. The biggest man was once a baby. When you go to buy something public, you always get a manual. I buy this phone again manual. I buy this again manual. But one thing they have is a manual for the brain, and they don't have a manual for a baby when a baby born. You have to depend on the mother, but it's all, all, all boys back down to the old generation and the world where it is. Come down to parents and mother, boy. Right? So motherhood, and you know, let's get all your ass up and straighten all the house and bring it into a home. Let's straighten this charity comes at home, come from home public. And all the mothers them all the other me just up and do the right thing. Right? So we're going long again now. God create woman to follow him, to study him, to be in a relationship with him. Now when God create the woman to be in a relationship with God and to, 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 to serve him. Is after what God go tell them what to do. Right? So the woman was created for the environment. For the culture. And, and, and take orders from God. Not to our plan, but to God will. Father is a set standard. Mothers create the environment and they create awesome, awesome responsibility they have. They has more responsibility than a man. They even had to bring forth the child too, which is the woman in the belly. Responsibility of a mother is very important, mothers. So, I asking all your mothers to so make all your, make, come and help, let me help children and until they go from a house to put it into a home. And let us stand up and tell, hey, what's going on in this home here? What's going on in that home? We don't want it. If that girl is 16 years and she taking money, we don't want to take. If that boy is selling cocaine and his father support it, we don't want to hear. Some parents fuck well support the things that their children doing by. Some, some old, old people seeing a young girl bubbling up shit, skinning it out. And the old person saying, well, girl, it's your time to go bubble it up and ride it, man. When I was young, I, I did that. Charity comes at home, boy. Next thing again now. So, I know on them tonight. So, Trinidad and Tobago, don't honor your mother and father because they're good. Don't honor your mother and father because they're good. Honor your mother and father because God says so. Don't honor them because they're good. Don't honor them because they give you money. Don't honor them because this and because that. Because that. Because that. Honor them because that. Honor them because God says so by. You see? They say charity come from home. So they with the parents on them. The parents on them. They, some parents turn around and tell their children don't make them shame. How you could be telling their children don't make you shame? If you grow up with children in the correct way, you're supposed to be telling them don't make you shame. You're supposed to know they will never make you shame, they will make you proud. So parents out there, all the fuck will know where they're growing up. Because I'm going to bring it down here now. We're going in Proverbs. Proverbs 23, 14 say, Punish him with the rod, and you will save him from death. Let me read the Bible again in the next, the next one again now. Punish him. You hear what it says? Proverbs. Proverbs 23, 14 say, Punish him with the rod, and you will save him from death. Let me see if I get the next one here now. Alright. Proverbs 22.15. Let me go in 22.15 here now. 22.15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. You hear it? You hear it again, eh? 
Proverbs 22, 15. Proverbs 13, 34. Pro and, uh, and Proverbs 23, 14. Proverbs 23, 14 say, Punish him with the rod and save the child from death. Proverbs 22, 15 say, Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive him far from it. Mothers, all you correct all your children by correct them and straighten them up by when they wait too big to straighten the tree is problem. When they take up when, when, when a bull reach too too big to put the ring wrong, a bull knows it is the hard by. No tell them from small by the biggest mama wants a baby by. Next thing again, now we go. Proverbs 13. I don't know if it's 13 or if it's 14, but let me go with 13 here. Because I was trying to get the, the scriptures on them now. Boy. Right, this next one, same righteousness into the road of correction. Well, all these things leading, why I bring these things up, is to add into my preaching. Why I know certain biblical, Bible, Bhagavad Gita, Quran, all of them leading up into the right thing. You see, society today, if you watch society today, and you watch your children today, you could know that how the children, parents bring them up. Because some parents out there, in them time, when they make a child, they care. They run the mother, say, you pregnant, get your mother's car from out there, I mean, you want to make a child. I don't know ready to be a father. You understand? I'm not ready to be a father. That's how it is be. So Trinidad, they go, all they could do, certain people already, is come in fake profile and text. Right? So, something again I'm going to say here now. So back to the point. So, what I'm trying to tell you is that some parents Again, they support the child in nastiness. Mother stand up and shake up, shake them up. Punishment, don't kill, it better your children. Bring up our children. That is the B-U-O-C. Bring up our children. I want to form that organization. Uh, any mothers out there and ladies out there who they be here in me and a lot of people who they thief my idea and give it all of this idea. Or they bring out a new thing, bring up our children. B U O C. Bring bring up our children and set that group. Set that group with the young children and them. Let me let me target all the babies. Target all the little children them. Target them and well in rising them. Once you're rising them, you see. I always say politicians safeguard their seat. Real leader safeguard the unborn. San Chiquito. Good night. Locked on from Sandy Grandi, San Chiquito. Lots of love. Blessing to all the man. My mother from Sandy Grandi. My mother from up, right up around this one thing too. Um, in coal mine. My, my whole family from up there too. Right? So, Tristan and Tedego, the whole point about it, we are preaching here. I feel like I hold up on the preaching here now. And give all of some song and some little depth, some little small things. The whole point about this preaching and what I try to really show women. Is that all you is still after all you fall and man fall, God still turn around and tell woman, all you are going to bring forth a seed. And the seed that you're going to bring forth is going to crush the seal, it's going to crush the head of the of the serpent. He still turn around and tell he had hope into the woman by is the woman he had hope into, not the fucking man. The man could only fucking bring a seed. Is the woman is the incubator by? Great message, really, that safeguard the unborn. Yes, brother, them politicians only safeguard their seat. Them only study about their seat. Them only study about vote. Study about this. Study about the next one, Philip Edward Legs, and they say, Tia, get a seat. He's going and resign politics, and look, he's still fucking there. Next one, when San Rago, you come and ball her head and a buck come and go and win fucking election, and she lost. Do you light in candles from reading Tarot Cab now? Turn and they go, there's the fools getting more fool, and some of the fools getting wise. True, uh, when I preach all you. So all they need to know what they're doing every day is Mother's Day. 
All you need to understand and, and read within the line, look at the things happening out there, look at all them women and them winding down the place, putting up the bottom, doing this, doing that. They're doing the same thing that when Moses, when Moses went up in the mountain, the prayer, he come back down, he's doing this. They're doing the same thing they were doing when God take the whole dirt and swallow them. They're doing the same thing they're doing in Solomon Gomorrah. Exactly what going on in Trinidad, exact Solomon Gomorrah. Exactly what was going on with, with Moses and the boat. No Moses, um, no one and the boat. Right? So I have to preach something to sing here and, and, and um... Right, let me go with this one here now. Let me see if you go play. Right, as I was telling earlier, right, so look at the things we're going on, look at the kind of back happening here, look at this one, all of them women and them, all of them support the bola man, all of them only coming up and getting all the viewers. Back on, back on, back on.
next thing again now. More as again. This is a call here. Add two songs again before I go. So I play next one. Two colors of it. And I go. So. Betty Lou has six children with Sam. But like neither of them cares at all. They always fighting. Just 